Hey guys, what's going on? It's Tom, and today is the 1st of June, which means that beta signups are finally here. So what I'm just showing you right now is me currently in-game, and you'll see in my inventory I've got a combat beta contract. I've not actually done anything with this yet, so I'm just going to show you the process of what to do. So, click on read this contract, and then it'll give you this little prompt saying a new window will pop up. So say yes I want to sign up and that's going to bring me to a different window and to get to this screen uh, if you don't want to do it from that little item in game you can just go to runescape.com forward slash combat I'll put a link in the description for this but yeah this is the beta sign up page so there's a big beta sign up button here so you just click on that and I'll just pause while I log in okay so I've just put in my login information and it's brought me to this little pop-up window that says thank you for registering interest in the beta and you'll receive an email on the 26th of June so you'll be wanting to keep an eye on your emails just in case but also look out for uh, scam emails as well like phishing emails because there's bound to be some so just be wary and yeah that's basically it there's also a new blog post called the og blog evolution of combat it's a really interesting blog post it goes into quite a bit of detail about what they expect to achieve with the new combat system such as getting people to use different equipment and making it more fun in general so go and give that a read if you want i'm not going to read it out on here because it's pretty long as i say and I am pretty boring so I'm not going to bore you. Uh, new exciting news though is the new abilities which will be a part of the combat system. So basically as you level up your attack, strength, defense, range, magic and constitution you'll unlock various abilities that will be useful for different situations and new abilities will replace special attacks that were previously restricted to certain weapons some of the more popular and favorite special attacks will be adapted for the new system so you'll have more freedom and choice about what you wield and which abilities are more useful for the situation so AGS crash incoming I'm calling it right now <laughs> but no seriously um, there's going to be three levels of abili abilities available they'll be split into basic abilities, threshold abilities and ultimate abilities so what I'm going to do is I'll just read all this, uh, it won't take long and then I'll sort of give you my opinion and thoughts on it so basic abilities will be used in everyday combat and will include attacks such as stuns, interrupts for spellcasting, critical hits, damage over time effects, uh, multiple hit targets and uh, damage reduction effects as well as many others. Uh, threshold abilities will be more pa more powerful than basic abilities and will include multiple attacks in quick su succession sorry, such as rapid fire, area of effect damage, damage reflection, multi spell casting, ooh, that sounds good, and plenty of other options to give you a wide selection of strate strategic abilities at your grasp. Ultimate abilities. These are by definition ultimate in power. These abilities are incredibly powerful and represent a devastating way to destroy your enemies with ease. These abilities include a range of damaging attacks such as the Meteor Strike, Deadshot and Tsunami as well as life saving effects that could completely turn the fight around and many more. So I'll just quickly run through each one again, given my analysis on it. So for those of you who don't know, I have played other MMOs in the past. I have played World of Warcraft. I've played a bit of Guild Wars. I've tried Rift. I've tried all sorts of MMOs, but mainly WoW. And uh, there's a lot of familiar mechanics being drawn from these games. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. I think it's a good thing, personally. You, you guys might just think it's blatant copying, but I think that copying is not always a bad thing. Uh, it's taking ideas and enhancing them. So, being able to stun with a basic attack, 
that's going to be quite incredible. I mean, we've already got like the Dragon Spear, but obviously with the special attack mechanic that's going to obviously be abolished in some, well, in its current form, it's going to be abolished and it's going to be completely reworked. Uh, being able to stun mid combat or with any weapon that is, I assume, or it might just be with a certain variety of weapons. That'll be that'll be critical for PvP. Like perhaps you could stun people at low HP and just KO them right there and then. I think that'd be a bit overpowered, but who knows? Could be very interesting indeed. And obviously interrupting spell casting, so Storm of Armadil faggots will be sort of Im impeded by this and doing a critical hit I don't necessarily agree that that should be a basic ability to just choose when you want to crit critically hit because that would cause problems so I'm sort of intrigued as to how they're going to do this uh, damage over time effects I'm glad they're doing more of these and that you can actually choose when you want to do them which is it'll be advantageous for PVM because it'll allow you to sort of optimize your p DPS if you manage your dam damage over time effects correctly um, hit multiple targets we've already got things like this obviously ice barrage chin chompers just to name a few things uh, being able to do that with ordinary weapons like swords and such I think that would be quite good um, could affect prices of chin chompers. I don't know if it will, because if you could shoot three hours at once and keep continuously doing that, but um, you know that you can think of all sorts of sort of multiple damaging uh, attacks that could possibly be introduced that could affect current training methods. So I've got to wonder how it will affect the economy as well and being able to reduce damage taken oh, thank god with runescapes finally having tanking like proper tanking not current tanking because tanking in runescape at the minute is not proper tanking i have to say it kind of bugs me so i'm glad that they're actually giving us abilities to actively reduce damage taken in a way um, rapid fire obviously that's sort of implying it's for either range or magic so maybe doing rapid fire magic spells for a short amount of time or something like that just give you a bit more burst damage in pvp so i don't think safing will necessarily be a bad thing anymore um don't quote me on that though because um, people are going to hate me for saying that but yeah I think the idea of not safing in PvP is kind of rid ridiculous anyway, but whatever. Um, area of effect damage, we already know what that is. Um, damage reflection, we have this already with vengeance and curse prayers, uh, like d deflect magic and that kind of thing. Uh, but being able to reflect damage a bit more than just once every 30 seconds or whenever the prayer decides it wants to reflect damage, you know that'll be good as well being able to pull off massive combos using that optimally multi spell casting now this is the one that sort of i didn't see this at first but when i read it out loud i thought oh actually what if you could combine now call me crazy what if you could combine elements to create a different effect just let that sink in and think about it for a second so what I'm going to use as an example here is the rune span nodes. Currently, you've got nodes which are just fire and just air, and then you've got the firestorm, which is both fire and air, and obviously that creates a different effect. This could have an application in combat as well, so I'm interested to see what they'll do with that. There's all sorts of opportunities here. Uh, Mindstorm, for example. Just saying, that could be pretty cool. Uh, ultimate abilities, I imagine these will be sort of a one time use kind of thing. They'll have a pretty long cooldown, I imagine. Uh, meteor Strike, kind of self explanatory. 
Deadshot, I imagine that would be a melee ability. So you'd be able to do extra damage or have more chance to hit or something like that. And Tsunami, obviously big wave of water, might have a special effect against fire mages or something, I don't know. And life saving effects, I imagine this could be like a really massive heal, like uh, the, I forgot what the prayer's called on the normal prayer books, where if you get down to 10% health it heals you. But I imagine there might be an ability to do that, but a lot more drastically, and it'll just be like something you can do once. Uh, and if anyone's played WoW, I'm sort of referring to bubble hearth kind of thing. Yeah. Um, Anyway, I'm just going to wrap up the video there because it's getting pretty long. Uh, give the blog a read as well, and let me know what ideas you guys bring from these abilities, because obviously I've got a lot of ideas for what could potentially be brought into the game based on what they've given us on this page. And these images look pretty cool as well. It looks like there'll be a lot more effects going on when you're fighting such as like this smoke cloud right here uh, this one for the basic abilities his hands are actually glowing I don't know if that's a particle effect on the actual gloves when you just equip them but it could be an actual ability being used so who knows and this ultimate ability right here uh, it's a guy who's on fire but is also using a sword Gotta wonder if that's the Jagex standard fail for screenshots, uh, or if melee users will be able to use mage spells and have an advantage in doing so. Anyway, I'll wrap up the video there. I'll see you guys in the beta.